I'm Ethan Owens from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine and today I'm joined by Matt Heens, Football Director of the Seton Ramblers Footy Club in Division 3 and this is our weekly wrap. So we'll just go, go over the results from the Division 3 from yesterday. Flinders Park defeated Walkerville by 53. Plimpton de defeated Brighton Bombers by 6. Golden Grove defeated Mitcham by 120. Westminster defeated Portland by 9. And your boy Seton Ramblers defeated Smosh Westlakes by 33. Um, congrat congratulations on the win. Another win under, under your belt for the season. Um, how did you feel like the match went from your perspective? Uh, I think it was a bit of a tussle from, uh, the, fir you know, from the first bounce. Uh, Smosh come out to play, you know, it's a bit of rivalry there between Seton and Smosh just being around the corner, so I thought they were pretty good, you know, and uh, we ended up getting away with a win. Uh, we had 18 fit players in the last quarter, so it was, a, it was a courageous win by the boys. Absolutely, and um, who do you feel like were your best players yesterday? Who really stepped up for the occasion? Uh, I think a couple of new guys to the club, um, uh, Tonks and um, uh, Wildy, um, and a couple of the, uh, the the younger players as well, uh, Anthony Lodardo and, um, yeah, probably those guys. Absolutely. And you're 6-1 and one to start the season. Um, equal best in, in your division. No team is undefeated. Um, what would you put that uh, that good start down to? I think uh, off-season recruiting's been pretty good. Um, we've pushed through uh, a few of the juniors that have come up from uh, finishing under-16s, which won the grand final last year, and they've uh, really come on. Um, so yeah, I think uh, you know a few more numbers as well, th you know, to, through the club with the A's and B's, and it helps when you got the injuries. So yeah, absolutely. And um, with that with that record in mind, how are you uh, how are you trying to keep, ensure the boys keep this record going and um, finish off the season really well? I oh, look, uh, you know, they're pretty well committed uh, bunch of guys. You know, they, you know, at the end of the, you know at the end of the season, they, that's what they're looking for as a premiership. A few of the guys are in their mid twenties and uh, and you know their late twenties, so the window of opportunity is starting to close a little bit. So and the club has uh, hasn't won a premiership since 1990, so um, they're pretty well focused. Um, you know we've been dealing with injuries. We haven't had a full uh, squad on the park probably all year, so um, you know it's it's been a credit to them. You know three or four changes every week, and uh, we've been getting the job done. So um, yeah, no, they'll, they'll be right. Absolutely, and previewing next week in the Division 3, Brighton Bombers will play Portland, Golden Grove will play Flinders Park, Walkerville will play, Pl play Plimpton, Smosh West Lakes will play Westminster, and your boy Seton Ramblers will play Mitcham at home. Mitcham haven't won a game so far this season, so um, obviously still not a match you'll take lightly by any means. No, definitely not. Um, you know, they're a proud club. Uh, we played off in the elimination final last year against them. Um, at home and beat them, so uh, they'll be wanting to get that one back. Um, you know, there's some big, some big, big scores against them, um, but it's you know it's just like uh, Smosh uh, yesterday. You know, you can't take any team lightly um, because they come to play, and if you're off your game, they'll you know they'll within you know five or ten minutes they'll be two, three goals in front of you. So you know, they won't they won't be easy. Absolutely, and just in the next few days, um, how will you regroup regroup the boys and um, get them ready? I think we'll do a bit of a uh, light session on Tuesday, uh, speaking to the coaches. There was a few sore boys yesterday, um, a couple of um, umpire incidents we have to we have to deal with as well. So there's probably going to be another three or four changes again. So um, it gives the opportunity for some of the younger lads in the B grade to, to come up and um, you know stamp their authority again and uh, and um, you know hopefully cement their their spot on the side. So. Yeah, it, uh, we won't. You know, we'll, we'll be back to what we do normally during the week and uh, um, get ourselves ready for Saturday. Absolutely, thanks, Matt. I'm Ethan Ons from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine, and today I was joined by Matt Heens, Footy Director of Seton Ramblers Footy Club in the Division Three, and that was our weekly wrap.